Okay, for this radical equation, we bump into another little, uh, a little bit of a problem. First thing I'm going to do is isolate the radical. So I take the plus one to the other side. That leaves me with four x plus one, the square root of that here. On this side, I'll get x minus one. As, as before, the opposite of square rooting is squaring, so I'm going to square this side, and I'm going to square this side, but this time I've got two terms. So it's really important that you write it that way, and remind yourself that that equals x minus 1 times x minus 1. This squaring undoes that square rooting, so the left-hand side works out really nicely. The right-hand side, you are going to have to foil out. That times that, that times that, that times that. And you get your little happy face there. Okay, our buddy QWERTY you up. And you end up with x squared minus 1x minus another 1x is minus 2x plus 1. Biggest mistake made is kids will just say x squared plus 1. They'll forget that middle term. Now let's make the left-hand side zero by taking both of these guys across. So it's x squared minus 2x minus 4x. And plus 1 is here, and the plus 1 becomes a minus 1. So we end up with 0 is x squared minus 6x. These guys cancel. Okay, now I could use the quadratic equation and put um, c in as 0 there and b is negative 6 and a is 1. But this factors really nicely. Take the x out and you have that. Therefore, you get two answers to your equation. Either x is 0 or x minus 6 is 0. Okay, so either x is 0, or when I take the minus 6 to the other side, x equals 6. Okay, now my original question, remember, was the square root of 4x plus 1 plus 1 equals x. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check both answers. Okay, into this. So, let's check x equals 0. So wherever I see the letter x, I put down a 0. And I'm seeing whether the right-hand side equals the left-hand side. 4 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1, and 1 plus 1 equals 0. Oh, oh. That's a no-no. Okay, 2 does not equal 0. Okay, so that's our extraneous root. Okay. Now, if you really want to get picky, there's also another square root of 1, which is negative 1, and negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. So that's sort of why that happens. Now I'm going to check my other answer, which is x equals 6. So wherever I see the letter x, I'm going to put down a 6. 4 times 6 is 24 and 1. This is the square root of 25. And does this whole thing equal 6? 5 plus 1 equals 6. Okay, so the left-hand side does equal the right-hand side. Therefore, we have one answer to this question, okay? And the only answer to this question that we will accept is x equals 6. The other answer of x equals 0 way up here is we found to be an extraneous root, okay?